It happens in seconds. Moms and dads, you know that feeling. Your child gets lost in a store, maybe just wanders off for a second or two. Your heart stops, though. Panic sets in, and you think the worst. It's happened to most of us, but what if you had a secret weapon, an extra layer of safety, so to speak? How far would you go to keep your children secure? Would you be willing to microchip them? Experts tell us the technology already exists. Turns out one Bay Area mother is all for it, and she shared her story with our Melanie Michael. Hey guys, good evening to you both. You know, chances are if you have a four-legged family member at home, it's already microchipped. And if the technology exists to save Fido in an emergency, what about microchipping your child? Before you say, no way, I would never do that, hear one mom's story. It's the longest two seconds of your life, and it's absolute panic. I want my son back! We've seen it in movies. This is my daughter! Over and over again, children gone missing. It's terrifying. For Stephanie Rodriguez Neely, life is busier than ever with four children, including a newborn. She knows scary situations can happen in an instant. And for her, it has. If it'll save my kid, um, there's, there's no step that's too extreme. Stephanie's teenage daughter is a special needs child prone to wander off and trust strangers. For that very reason, Stephanie wholeheartedly welcomes microchipping a child. If a small chip the size of a grain of rice could have prevented a tragedy, I think most parents, you know, hindsight would have said, I wish I would have done it. But Stephanie is in the minority in her Tampa Bay mom's group, where other mothers call this too sci-fi and invasive. You're putting a battery in your kid, you're putting a chip in your kid, and where does it stop? Turns out the technology to microchip your kids has existed since the early 90s, but hasn't really caught on. Is it a little too science fiction for you? Very much so. Um, a well-known technology expert out of space. Boston tells us yeah. microchipping poses little to no health risks and would act as a barcode of sorts. Without question. It could save a life, uh, reunite a family, uh, find a missing Alzheimer's patient. I always tell people, as long as you're doing what you feel is best for your child, y you're not really wrong. And guys, this is what we're talking about, the microchip. I don't know if you can see it in my hand. It's the size of a grain of rice, very, very small. And the expert that we spoke with actually tells us that barcodes were introduced in the late 1960s. And back then, people thought, uh, this is way too invasive and too weird. And now barcodes are so commonplace that we don't even think about them anymore. The expert tells us this will happen sooner rather than later. Well, and Mel, you said that the technology has been around since the 90s or whatever, but I mean, have companies actually tried this? That's a different scenario. Two of them. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Both of those companies ended up uh, going defunct. They tried initial public offerings. It did not go through. But you can bet somewhere, someday, someone is going to pull this off and we could see those microchips in everyone. Teaching, we're waking people up, man. Right. We're bringing you to righteousness.